Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Quant for Competitive Exams. In this video series, I am going to explain about Quant related questions which are given in competitive exams and how to solve them. Mostly these are very much useful to crack NIPER exam, AP set and AP R set exams. Now in these videos, I will tell you how to solve these problems without having complex formulas with general logic and I will provide you some tips and tricks. The first and foremost tip is See, for all these quant related problems, we need to read very consciously. You need to read and understand the problem which is given. What is given, what is being asked. These are the two most important things. What is given, what is being asked. If you understand the problem properly, you can do it with, without any problem. Let us see some of the examples. Look at this. Now, how many numbers from 1 to 100 are there? each of which is not only exactly divisible by 4 but also a 4 as a, as a digit. Now two requirements are there. One, it has to be divisible exactly by 4. Two, it has to contain 4 as its digit. So these two requirements should be met and how many numbers are there. Let us think and write about those things. See, 4 is exactly divisible by 4 and then 24. You, you need to have a 4 and it has to be divisible by 4. Both the requirements are bad, met. And then 40. And then 44, 48, 64. You have a 4 in it and 84. So how many are there totally? Totally 7 are there. So you need to pay very much attention. You need to understand this question. It has to be divisible by 4. And it should have 4 as a digit. See, it should have a 4 as a digit. See, all of them has got 4 as a digit. See, at least one digit should be there. So totally how many are there? 7. See, to do to answer such kind of questions, you don't need any formulas or complex logics. A simple thinking is enough. So the answer A is the correct one. Moving to the next one. Now, see, a number greater than 3 but less than 8. Understand this one. See, we have 1, 2, 3. Greater than 3 means you cannot take 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, less than 8 means you cannot take this 8. No. So these numbers. So there is a number which is greater than 3 and less than 8. Also it is greater than 6 but less than 10. What do you mean by greater than 6? It starts from here. 7, 8, 9. You cannot take 10. No. So this is the combination. Again read the question properly. There is a number which is greater than 3. That means you cannot take these things, but less than 8. Less than 8 means you cannot consider these things. Again, there is a number which is greater than 6. That means, again, you cannot take this thing. I'm sorry. You cannot take this 6 also. It says greater than 6, less than 10. But already we have eliminated these two because of the first requirement. What is the number? So what are you left with? Only left with this one. Very simple question. It is the word play of English. You need to understand the question properly. Then you can write it. You can solve it easily. So again the answer is C, 7. Moving to the next one. See, in a row of trees, one tree is fifth from either end of the row. Now understand this one. There is a row 1, 2, 3, 4 and there you have a tree. Right? Now either end means the other end also you have 1, 2, 3, 4 are there. You count from this side it comes as 5. You count from this side it comes as 5. Now, how many trees are there in this row? How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 5th one. 6, 7, 8, 9. Totally 9 are there. 4 from this side, 4 from this side and 1 from this side. So, how many trees are there totally? It's 9. Again, see, imagine, read the question properly. Draw it, you will get the answer. I'm coming to the next one. Now, the tax on a commodity is diminished by 20%. And its consumption is increased by 15%. The effect on revenue is. Now we need to understand certain things. See, the moment you see the percent questions, take the standard number as 100. Understand this one. For any percent related questions, take the number as standard. That means, if it is diminished by 20%, means if you reduce 20% from 100, what happens? It becomes 80. And consumption increased by 50% means if you increase, see this is minus 20%. And this is 15%. So what happens? It becomes 115. See, doing with 100 is very easier one. We can easily calculate it. That is the reason why for all the percentages questions, we need to take 100 as a standard one. Now what is being asked? 
you need to find out the change in revenue now revenue is depending upon this tax multiplied with consumption so revenue is given by tax and consumption now understand what all things what is the initial one initially without any changes you have imagined let's say it is tax is 100% consumption is 100% so how much it would be 10000 now what has happened now tax is reduced this much right it has become 80 and then consumption is increased to 115 how much is this is the 404 it was rate 9 10, 11 12 1 it was rate 9 so this has become 9200 so initially it was 10000 now it has become 9200 what is the change 800 so what is the percent change this is 8 percent see understand this word per cent cent means 100 percent means by 100 how much it is 8 percent so what happened is it increase or decrease from 10,000 it has become 9,200 it has decreased to 8 percent so what is the effect on revenue decrease it by 8 percent See again you don't need to use any complex logic or formulas simple things the moment you see a percentage questions take the 100 as a standard number once you take that number you need to put the changes and then revenue is given by tax and consumption without any change do it with hundreds with the change plug in the numbers you will get the change and the difference is 800 so percent means per hundred how much it is it is 8 percent and it is decreased from 10,000 to 9,200 so it is decreased by 8 percent simple one moving to the next one now a gardener want to plant 17,956 trees in his garden and arranges in such a way that there are as many trees in a row what is the total number of trees in a row now understand this as many as many trees in a row means let's say see all the rows and the trees are equal it's like a grid now look at this four rows are there in every row you have four trees are there so this is what is meant by as many as trees in a row now we have this number 17956 and you need to arrange such that you need to get this kind of grid now look at the numbers so 134 136 144 154 now look at them when you multiply the unit digit is 6 from which you will get unit digit as 6 4 multiplies 4 you get unit digit as 6 6 multiply 6 also you get unit digit as 6 all of them will give unit digit as 6 now see instead of multiplying calculating unit think logically so 134 is a kind of when you multiply 13 into 13 how much you will get so this is 16,000 so 130 into 130 is 16,000 how many trees are there 17,000 are there now what happens 140 into 140 if you do 140 into 140 it becomes 19,000 so when you multiply these things 140s and 150s it will be more than 17,000 it will be more than 19,000 and 20,000 so you can right away eliminate these two things these two things are not possible now the answer is left with these two things when you multiply 134 into 134 you will get this number so this is how you need to eliminate the other thing instead of multiplying every uh, choice think logically and then apply the uh, logic so when you multiply 134 into 134 you will get 17956 now again you need to apply the logic so in questions like this take these numbers multiply them or square them and see where where the numbers will fall 16000 yes we have we need 17000 and arteries 19000 no it's only 17000 you can eliminate 14 multiple and uh, 15 multiples so this is how you need to do it moving to the next one now the length and breadth of a rectangle plot are increased by 50 percent and 20 percent respectively again the moment you see percent you need to use 100 the new areas will be how many times than that of the original area now you know there is a rectangle plot and you want area means length into breadth now what is the initial one initial one as i told you we need to always take it as 100 because working with 100 is very convenient now what has happened now length is increased by 50 percent means 100 has become 150 breadth is become 20 percent increase means it has become 120 now how much is this uh, 12 5 is a 60 0 6 12 1 is a 12 10,000 
Now look at this. What is the change? Instead of 10,000, it has become 18,000. What is the increase? 8,000, it is increased. Now look at the question. The new area will be how many times than that of the original area? What is the new area? 18,000. It is how many times of this original area? See, the first option says 4 times. No, it is not 40,000. Right? It is just 18,000. So this is eliminated. What is the next one? 9 by 6, 11 by 5, 9 by 5. See, once you answer something, you can directly skip to the third one or the next one so as to save the time. So 10,000, 11 by 5, how much it becomes? 22,000. No, it is less than that. It is 18,000. Now let us try with 9 by 5 now. 10,000, 9 by 5, so this is 2,000, you get 18,000. Bingo. So how many times it is that of the original area? It is 9 by 5 times. So the answer is D. So again, remember the moment you see percentages, take 100 as a standard number and then solve it. Now, the average weight of the class of 29 students is 40 kgs. If the weight of the teacher be included, the average raises by 500 gram. Half kilo is increased. What is the weight of the teacher? Now understand this one. 29 students are there and the average is 40. You add 1, they become 30 and the average has become 0.5 grams. Now understand this one. Uh, look at them carefully. So how many are there totally? 30 are there. So the new one, the teacher weight, how much his weight should be? See, what is the average weight? 40. He must be more than 40 so as to get this average as 0 0.5. 0 0.5 grams on an average on every individual has to be raised. How many are there? 30 students are there. If on 30, total strength is there. On 30, if you raise by 0 0.5 grams, it becomes 15 kgs. So this 15 kgs must be added to this average weight so that he will get, he will make the average as 4.5. 40 plus 15, how much it is? 55 kgs. If the teacher weight is 55 kgs, he will increase the average to 40.5 grams. So that is what has happened. Understand the question. 29 students are there. The average weight is 40. You included someone by which 30, the total number is there and the average is increased by 0.5 grams, 40.5 grams. So this is how you need to do it. Is minimum, uh, minimum weight is 40. It should be more than that so that the av average weight has to be increased. How much is increased? 0.5 grams. Totally how many are there? 30 are there. So it is 15 kgs and then to this add this 40, you get 15, uh, 15 kg. Uh, 40 plus 15, 55 kgs. So the answer is 55 kgs. Now the last one. Now, an interesting one. A mixer contains alcohol and water in 4 is to 3 ratio. 4 is to 3. This one is alcohol and this one is water, H2O. Now, if 7 liters of water is added to the mixture, the ratio of alcohol and water becomes 3 is to 4. So, you have added 7 liters, then the new ratio has become 3 is to 4. Find the quantity of alcohol in the mixture. What is the quantity of alcohol? Now, in such kind of questions, you need to work from the options. Now, imagine, let's say 12 liters is the quantity of alcohol. So, 12 liter in ratio 4 means what is the factor? 4 multiplies 3 will become 12. Then, what would be the water? 3 multiplies 3 is 9. So, you have added 7 liters to this water. How much it becomes? It becomes 16, it becomes 12. So, what is the new ratio? For 3 is a 12, for 4 is a 16. Bingo, 3 is to 4. This is what is being asked. So, what is the uh, uh, quantity of alcohol? 12 liters. Now, one more certain logic. Look at these numbers, 4 and 3, 4 and 3. You multiply 4 and 3, it becomes 12 liters. So, between these two, the answers will be there. So, in such kind of questions, plugging in the options will get you immediate answer. So, this is how you need to solve. So, this, these are all the set of some questions wherein you can use pure logic and do the solutions. I hope you like the class. If you like the video, do subscribe and share. Thank you for watching this video.